What is good, Ape Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock and why I'm still very bullish for the future of this company. I'm also going to be exposing the corruption that's involved in AMC stock, all the manipulation that's going on, and why it makes me very bullish for AMC's future, why I'm still an ape, why I'm still holding, and why I have not lost any faith when it comes to the squeeze, guys. I'm still very confident and still very bullish, no matter what anyone says. Now, before I get into any more details and expose these crazy numbers, I do have to mention some very important things first the first thing is i'm not a financial planner so please do not take this as financial advice and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this not only benefits me it benefits the entire ape community as a whole and the last thing is if you guys can please check out the memo link down below in the description if you do sign up for memo and deposit a hundred dollars you're not only going to qualify for up to five free stocks each worth up to three thousand five hundred dollars but you're also going to get a free neo share which has insane potential for the future Future. so if you want this opportunity please check out the offer down below with that's out of the way let's get on with the video so look at amc share price over the last few days we saw amc take a massive massive hit and here's the weird thing about this this is the strategy that these hedge funds are using they're using the market as an excuse to cause this thing to drop really hard they're also using different strategies such as shorting the s p 500 the spy and also and also the uh, iwm the russell 2000 now here's how crazy this is okay let's just go back a couple of steps so the new Batman movie came out and it was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. It was one of the best that ever came out in modern history and in many people's opinions. It was still a phenomenal movie and all the actors in it, they just did a fantastic job, but it wasn't just a phenomenal movie in terms of what happened. It also did really well in box office numbers. In fact, it's the second most you know, top performing movie since the pandemic started in, in history, right? Since the pandemic started in all the entire world, it just killed it. So this is what the Los Angeles Times reported. It says, holy box office revenue, Batman. Warner Bros. Pictures, the Batman, has scored the second biggest North American opening of the since the pandemic started. Since then, I mean, it's just killing it, grossing 120 8.5 million dollars domestically in the usa and also 120 million dollars internationally for a global cumulative of 248.5 million dollars in the opening weekend guys they absolutely killed it the only movie since the pandemic came guys the only movie that did better was spider-man no way home that's it that's absolutely incredible that did uh 260 million when it launched the batman movie did 248.5 million so it's only off by about 11.5 million that's how big the batman movie was and that just shows how important this community is because apes aren't just buying amc and forgetting about it they're actively involved people are going to the movies they're buying popcorn they're going to be buying merch when it comes out in the upcoming months guys it's going to be insane they love nfts i mean the company is just doing so well they're killing it we also had one of the best earnings we had in years amc killed it when it came to revenue they they exploded they destroyed all expectations and then what happens the share price dropped eight percent after what on earth is going on we got a sell signal from the super trend what is going on here this is crazy that is not normal. That's that's just so insane. I'm almost lost for words. So we had a killer earnings. The price drops. We absolutely crushed it with the new Batman movie. The price drops even more. Adam Aaron has an interview. It drops even more. It's just insane. It's insane. It, it just shows how messed up the system is. How corrupt these players, these market makers are. And how much they're trying to eliminate the AMC narrative. This is the most manipulated stock in history. And what they're doing is they're using the current market conditions as an excuse for institutional investors. Because these shorts, they realize that when these big institutions, if they start investing in AMC, they're going to be screwed. It's going to be horrible for them. And they also know. And when the MOAS happens, a lot of them are going to go bankrupt. They're going to have to file for bankruptcy. They're going to lose all their money once they get liquidated, when margin calls come. 
So they're so scared right now. They're so messed up right now. They also have the FTDs. I mean, they're in a mess. All they're doing is kicking a can down a road. So yeah, I'll admit it. They could bring AMC down here and there. Yeah, it's true. But the end result, the end game does not change. There's only so many dollars left for them to drop AMC to. And the more they drop it, well, what they could be doing is trying to drop it so they could start covering at a lower price. Or they're just trying to scare people like you and me into selling. And it's not working. It's not working. Admiral confirmed that there's still the same number of apes. There are just as many people buying and holding. It has not changed anything. And this is part of why I'm holding AMC. Because what's weird is so many news outlets, so many people out there, they, they started saying AMC is a joke. Give up on AMC. Why would they do that? Who is paying them? Who's behind closed doors? And we already know the answers. And that's why I'm still part of this community. This is why I'm still part of the movement. Because it's right in front of us. And we really want change to come. That's what we're waiting for. That's what we're fighting for. It's the same market makers that control the market. And own the same companies. You know, these, these big companies that are run by these wealthy individuals. That have these big stakes in them. They have so much control over the market. It just shows how insane this is and why we need change. Because this is not normal. We had a killer earnings. Adam Aaron announced a ton of bullish things. They crushed, I mean, it just makes no sense. Anyways, like I said, guys, this is why we're buying and holding. And this is why we're never, ever quitting. Because this is the most abnormal thing in financial history. This should not be happening. This should not be happening in the future either. That's why we need change. So going into the future, and this is the thing about AMC, why I'm so bullish for it. The hedge funds are losing money doing this. It costs them billions of dollars to bring this thing down. Now, they, they do have tons of money, so they could keep this up for some time. It's a fact. But they can't keep this up forever. They don't have the financial capability of keeping this up forever because eventually... When it gets really good fundamentally, once AMC is profitable, big money is going to be coming in. Massive institutions are going to be buying even more. And when we have more regulations coming out, which they should be, they should be enforced relatively soon. It just kills it. It kills the narrative for these shorts. So as an ape, this is my strategy. I'm not doing anything. I'm buying, I'm holding, I'm waiting because I know This is not going to last forever. I know AMC has potential. and I know the shorts still have to cover. It's just their dirty little games. And it it just shows what kind of people they are. But I've not lost faith. I'm still very bullish. Because I've made tons of videos doing DD. Showing you guys why the squeeze is imminent. Why the squeeze has insane potential. Why AMC has insane potential to squeeze to the absolute moon. And why it's not over yet. So be patient guys. The MOAS is on the table, and I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon, and peace out.